Oh, hey there. How are you? Um, yeah, I dropped the ball. I was trying to make it every week, but uh, a somewhat impromptu trip to uh, Omaha, Nebraska to visit some family, uh, some pumpkin picking, and uh, some, some family fun. Uh, and we are moving into a new home uh, this week. So all those things got in the way of me making that video, but me being in uh, my new home is going to allow me to make a ton more content. And actually, I took, um, so I am finishing um, my degree in religion with a focus on Christian ministries. And um, the bulk of my classes, um, you can take them in uh, blocks, right? So at A, B, C, which is the summer D and E block. Um, I took all of my classes, which I'm paying for now because I have finals this week, um, were all at the front of the semester. Anyway, and then I have the next two months no classes. So I'm gonna have an exponential amount of time, more free time than I have probably ever had. And my focus is putting the finishing touches on my book, and that should be out in the spring. Uh, I'm still in uh, conversations with publishers. Um, I would love to find the, the right uh, book agent. Uh, so if you know any of those people and you're seeing this, um, please reach out to me. My email is uh, it's it's Joshua Broom at gmail.com. Uh, again, it's J O S H U A B R O O M is in Mary E at gmail.com. Uh, email me and let me know uh, if you want to work together or uh, if you know anyone that uh, wants to me to be on their podcast or radio show or interview me or any of those things um, let me know uh, more often than not I do charge a fee to be on those um, because that is how I make my living um, but anyway uh, what's up what's up um, how's your week going uh, I love the interaction the comments uh, so much love so much love um, something really cool I've been doing lately is I jumped on TikTok and like TikTok for me I created an account like January, February, March like end of March and I was like this is not for me I'm in my 30s um, married kids this is not for me and especially at first glance at first glance it's a bunch of teenagers uh, lip syncing and doing dances for 15 seconds, which I have no interest in whatsoever. But if you dig a little deeper, it's so cool. It's so cool. There's so many creative people um, doing creative things, and the community is so much less toxic than Facebook or Instagram. Um, and you would might say, well, Josh, you've only been on there for a hot minute. You don't know yet. But let me tell you, my friend. Um, so I've I've really been on there for like three weeks. Three weeks. I like really have been dedicating time to like spending time on that app and creating content. In the last three weeks, in 20 days, 3.5 million people have interacted with me. This is more engagement than I have had in any regard on any social platform. Like I've done, um, I've done non, uh, I've done work like for other companies, like modeling stuff and like acting stuff that's gotten like more, uh, more visibility than, than that. But there's nothing that I have done personally that was outside of the adult film industry that has gotten this much engagement. And with that said, of course, people say stupid things to me. 
that is just my life. Um, I present challenging things to people and truth sucks if it affects your behavior in your day of life. Like, if you tell me something that, if like, here's an example of this. Just a objective truth, right? Diet Coke is not good for you. I don't like hearing that because I love Diet Coke and I drink it. I drink it not as much as I used to, but I still drink it anyway. I don't like hearing that it's not good for me. So does that make me drink less of it? Because I fully understand the, the negative side effects of aspartame and um, artificial sweeteners and the things they put in that. Yes, yes, I, I drink less of it because I know more about it. Um, and that is my hope for people. Um, my hope for people is um, I share a message of hope, of positivity, and upon that, you reflect on your life and you become a person who receives more love than you did before by seeing yourself as someone who is loved and is deserving of love. Thus, what is inside of you will be reciprocated and you will be loved in itself. But anyway, TikTok, 3.5 million engagements in 20 days. That's amazing. That is exciting. So my two big projects or the two things that I'll be uh, focusing on is TikTok and here on YouTube. Um, I'm buying some lights, I'm buying some cameras, um, well, I'm not buying, okay, that's not true, I'm not buying lights, I'm not buying cameras, I'm buying a light and a camera, um, but I'm going to be spending some serious time devoting uh, to developing uh, high quality content that is engaging, that my hope is that it increases engagement that um, I can continue to be a voice on the other side of pain and trauma that allows people to see hope regardless of where they are in uh, maybe they are battling with an addiction maybe there's something traumatic that's happened to them in their life um, and sometimes trauma is often caused by yourself um, everything that's ever happened to me it's no one else's fault but mine. Um, I chose to make the mistakes that I made and um, for me to put blame on someone else is honestly unhealthy. So just navigating through um, pain, hurt, disappointment and seeing that there is freedom and there is happiness and then there is the potential for joy on the other side of it um, is what I'm all about. Um, I would love to know what is your thoughts on Halloween? Um, my, my thoughts personally, uh, we will be celebrating Halloween um, in that uh, the celebration of ha Halloween is this. We're going to dress our kids up as something cute and my two year old is going to eat a bunch of candy. Um, for me, um, you know what did God call me to be not of the world but in the world so I'm not of the world but I'm in the world and I'm in the world to be an ambassador and a reflection of who he is and you can't get wet if you don't dip your toe in so um, people who think in a legalistic mindset in that um, I can't be friends with people who don't agree with me um, in my opinion it's it's you're really missing a big opportunity. So if you want to influence the world, uh, you have to love people. I, I've probably said this a million times, but I just think it's just so simply, beautifully true. No one cares what you know until they know that you care. No one cares what you have to say until you, they know that you care about them. If your prerogative or uh, your agenda is to get someone to think what you want them to think, why 
would someone listen to you? Because you're just being selfish. But if you love them and you're just giving them advice that has worked for you, and you're giving them that advice or you're giving them that information because you care about them, all of a sudden, you're gonna receive it differently. Um, so I quote the Bible a lot because I believe that the Bible is the inspired um, word of God and I believe that it is true. I believe that it is inerrant, meaning that it is misleading. I'm sorry, it, it means that it's without error, is infallible, meaning that um, it is misleading in no way. I believe those things because I believe Jesus is who he said he was and he said that he was God. So if God said that the Bible is true, I'm going to take the Bible as truth. He said that uh, not one iota would pass away, um, meaning that, um, so it's, you know, not, not one dot, not one inkling of the Bible is untrue. So with that said, Jesus said the most important thing he was challenged yo Jesus because they were trying to trick him they're trying to get him to say something that they would say oh he messed up Jesus what's the most important thing he said that's easy love God love people love people so much that people will question your behavior. They will question your agenda. And I want to love you because I was first loved by God. God is love and I want to be like God. So the best way to display who God is is to recklessly and relentlessly love people and pursue them regardless of where they are who is Jesus Jesus is not someone who came for behavior modification he came for people's hearts he found people in the middle of their mess and loved them right where they were and offered them peace hope a future love. That's who I want to be. I don't want to tell people uh, what they're doing wrong. I want to tell people who they are and who they are is loved. Have a great day.